I didn't find any direction when I was a kid. I didn't find, um, I didn't, I, there wasn't an easy way for me to transform my passion, which was music, into, into something tangible. Um, so, you know, I, I started reaching out, I started looking, looking all over the place for, for different things. Um, I, like you said, I worked all different types of odd jobs. I worked, you know, as a taxi driver for a period of time. I was a school bus driver, I washed cars, I was the, the people greeter at Walmart. Uh, just basically all these random jobs that, um, you know, because I needed, I needed money. I, I didn't come from any money, I had no, no money or no, no education. So I was, you know, I was looking for, you know, a, uh, a way to support myself, but also for inspiration. <laughs> You know, as a kid, I didn't, I didn't have uh, a stable, a, a real stable family life. So I, I, I was absolutely looking for, you know, in, things to inspire me. And I think, you know, music was one of the things that I, I absolutely relied on as a child to sort of. It was always a touchstone in my in my early life as something that was always a constant. You know amidst a, a turbulent childhood. I think through, um, through several attempts, uh, I, I, I accomplished to about, uh, to about ninth grade, um, and it, it was just, it was always a struggle because I was dealing with, you know, a, a lot of, a lot of stuff. At, at one point, you know, I was trying to um, s contribute and support myself, you know, um, to, by working part-time jobs or whatever it was. Um, and I was, you know, trying to have an education at the same time. So it was quite difficult. <laughs> My mother told me that when I was uh, quite young, three or four years old, I was, you know, digging around in, in, in her kitchen drawers for pots and pans and uh, pulling out wooden spoons and, and, and knives and forks, anything to, to hit against each other to make, to make percussion. You know, so from a very young age, I was, uh, I was, I was a drummer. Now I am learning the magic within me. You know, one of the greatest successes of being on a show like Glee is having music be a part of my job, quite simply. Uh, <laughs> so many people are not that fortunate. I mean, I have, I have the, the good fortune of, of going to work every day and doing something I truly, truly love. And that is a direct result of being involved with music from a young age. Having been uh, musically involved as a child uh, was one of the most, you know, I think fundamental parts of, of how I ended up on a show like Glee uh, today. I think that uh, had it not been for, you know, early, early, early childhood as a drummer, but it could have been anything. I could have been playing the guitar, I could have been singing. I think what the most important thing was is that music was a part of my life and music was a language that I spoke. Um, and I think that that's absolutely instrumental in, in, in me being a part of the show today. And, you know, it, you know for example, having you know, the writers of Glee having uh, written the fact that I'm a drummer you know, into, into the show. It's just, you know, an example of how I literally could not have got this job if it weren't for, you know, my musical background. Well, you know, what really caught my, 
my interest about El Sistema and about, about this film um, was the transformational effect of music on children and how that transcends boundaries, languages, cultures, borders, all of the above. And I think that it's, it's truly a flat world effect. It has the same effect and is reproducible anywhere in the world. And it can change the life of a child through music education for the rest of their life. Just follow your heart, you know, and follow your dreams when it comes to music because it will lead you to so much happiness in your life. It, it, it will lead you to so much fulfillment.